Peace, power, purpose. Welcome to another episode of the 828 Podcast, hosted by yours truly, Pretty Boss. I'm recording this right now on Wednesday, August 9th, 2023, at 11.26 a.m. Eastern Standard. No matter when I recorded this message, this is going to reach you when it's time for you to receive what we're getting ready to discuss. Whoever this is for, you've been enduring something that you can liken to a very long, dark night of the soul. Some of you who are listening to this are feeling like you're in the thick of it. And others that are listening to this are feeling it, but it might you might be more on the side of you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Even if you're not completely out of darkness, you're starting to understand and your entire perspective and awareness is starting to shift over your life. Even if there are certain things that are not giving you the physical evidence in the material world, maybe there's so much transformation that you've undergone, but a lot of things around you might have stayed the same. Or it might seem like things haven't been moving. However, despite whatever you're witnessing around you, many of you are starting to feel this shift that has been occurring, but you're starting to feel the positive fruit of what this long, dark night of the soul has been producing. This is a process that you've been enduring that we can liken to death. And when we speak about death, I even like to discuss when Yeshua was crucified on the cross. He was crucified and he died. But what happened? He resurrected in a glorified body. He resurrected in an eternal body that can never be crucified again. For many of you, you've been experiencing your own death. And this is more so what you can say in layman terms, death of the ego. Death to whatever paradigm and construct that you accepted as reality in your life. Whatever you were taught about who you are or who you should be, whatever boxes the society put you in or you put yourself in, Whatever beliefs that you embraced without even giving it second thought, you were just fed the beliefs and you had those beliefs because that's the only beliefs that you know and you were given. Opinions, thoughts, ideas, goals, all of these things that you might have used to define yourself at one point are starting to fade away. You're beginning to realize that you're more than the body. You're beginning to realize that you're more than any title that you've ever put on yourself. Whatever ways that you restricted yourself in the past, you're no longer being inhibited by that. There might be a lot of different things, even values that you hold or belief systems or things that you just always assumed you would want or that you were destined to experience, you might be reframing what you think about major concepts, major constructs. This includes education, creativity, religion, spirituality, career, work, purpose, family, marriage, all kinds of institutional structures and values you may find yourself reevaluating how you define them for yourself. You're no longer wearing the mask that society gave you to wear, but you're coming into your authentic self. What's actually happening here is you are remembering who you are and who you've always been. Before you took on these physical limitations. Everything that you have been through 
has all been for you to learn on a deeper level. Not just in this life, not just in the relationships that you have now, the career that you have now. This has been experiences that you have been evolving from on a soul level. The things that you have went through and the things that you've endured and the lessons that life has taught you are lessons that will always be with you. Many of these lessons that you learn, you're not ever going to have to learn again. And when I say you're not ever going to have to learn, I mean, you're not ever going to have to learn again. Some of you have endured so much and you wonder why so much? Why so many lessons? Why does my life seem like just one lesson after another? But you don't understand this is something that is benefiting you on a soul level. Sit on that, listen to what I'm saying and hear what I'm saying. These are lessons that have benefited you on a soul level. Don't get caught up with the superficial. Don't get caught up with the mundane. Don't get caught up with the temporary. Everything that we see is temporary. This entire life is temporary. The relationships that we form in this physical version, the businesses that we build, the houses that we have, the material things that we gain, all of them are temporary. This is a glimpse of time in the realm of eternity. You're being given an opportunity in this life to transcend every limitation that you've ever experienced. You're given the opportunity to transcend every boundary that has been created to keep the masses subdued in this reality, in this matrix. The way that I'm seeing this in my mind's eyes, like, think about if you have the globe, you know how they say, okay, the earth is round or whatever, right? Some of y'all think it's flat, whatever. We're not here to argue about that. I could really care less because that has nothing to do with the way that I experience my reality, whether it's round, flat, or triangle, right? But let's say you can picture this globe, which is what they call earth, right? And Picture that globe is just filled with different spider webs, like intersecting each other, overlapping each other, just a lot of webs. And think about the massive masses of people being in the center of that globe. And they're trying to climb through to get to the top, to get to fresh air, but there are so many webs within webs. There are so many boxes within boxes. It's like you can think about this reality has been set up like a maze. So those of you who this is for, for the chosen ones, you're being given the opportunity in this reality to surpass all of those webs, to break through all of those boundaries. And experience who you truly are and who you've always been in this physical reality. Think about Yeshua. Yeshua defied the odds. Yeshua defied reality. People will talk about, oh, the story of Yeshua is false. That's hearsay. But believe stories that they heard about kings from, like, eons ago thousands and thousands of years passed before some of your most popular kings history was recorded history that people accept as facts today some of that history wasn't recorded until three thousand years after the quote-unquote incident when we speak about yeshua that was recorded relatively quickly i think the first record of yeshua was recorded uh let's say and i'm probably this is probably an over exaggeration but let's say no more than 50 years after the occurrence was when the first record was recorded and i, and I think that's an over exaggeration because it was le- even less time than that and everyone that saw yeshua after he resurrected 
everybody would, uh, some of the skeptics would say, oh, well, this was just hallucinations. But then if you study hallucinations, you will realize that it, nobody ever has the same hallucination. Hallucinations are random. People don't hallucinate about the same things. So all of these witnesses of Yeshua in resurrected form, skeptics would say was hallucinations. But then when you look up the the, the the definition, when you look up the nature of hallucinations, those testimonies don't fit the description of hallucination. Yeshua defied the odds of this reality. Yeshua defeated death. This is what many of you are doing for the chosen ones who choose to stay steadfast on this journey and to continue to take that narrow path. Those of you who this is for, for one, if you have not already been witnessing, you're going to start noticing yourself literally aging backwards, not just in the way that you physically look, but in the way that you physically feel. Even in the thoughts that you think, some of you are going to find yourself having moments where it's like you almost feel childish not in a not in a negative way but in a way that your mind is free you're in it uninhibited you're not a victim of things that you've already experienced in this life when you think about children children have limited experiences they they haven't dealt with all this heart well for the most part they haven't dealt with all of this heartbreak and betrayal and distrust and this person is that and this one is this one and you shouldn't like these group of people and you should like these group of people. That's bad for you, that'll kill you. Kids, most kids haven't experienced any of that. That's why kids are free because they're not constricted by all of these negative experiences that most adults by the time they reach adulthood have experienced. Think about the first time you experienced love, the first person that you are in love with Versus the last time you were in a in a romantic situation. Probably completely different. That first person that you loved, that was probably like an uninhibited, just heart open, mind open, spirit open, arms open. Just happy to experience that in love. Giddy, your last relationship, all right, and this is not for everybody, but this is for most. But the last relationship you went, how how did it compare to your first? Not in regards to how that person was, but we're put, fo- shifting the focus on ourselves. How were you in your last relationship? How open were you? Were you guarded? I'm pretty sure you were much more guarded in your last relationship than you were in your first. What I mean by aging backwards is even in this kind of way, you're going to find yourself being free to having fresh experiences. When we're talking about walking into new, we're not just talking about, oh, a new house, a new car, new clothes, new people, new life, even though we're talking about all of those things as well. But the most important thing and more so is we're talking about the root of newness, which is the way that you experience your life. You're going to experience your life from a new perspective with a new mind. And most importantly, listen with a new heart. This is the gift. This is the gift. This is the resurrection. Everything that meant to defeat you and kill you and destroy you, you're transcending. And what it ended up producing was a diamond. The hardest and the most brilliant of all precious gems. Allow this transition that you're going through to take place. Be patient with yourself. Don't force anything. There's nothing that you need to force during this time. If you feel ups and downs, sometimes if you feel extremes, maybe one day you're very fatigued, very tired, right? Loss of energy. Maybe another day it's like you feel great. You feel on top of the world. Go with this. Go with the flow. Don't swim against it. If you're feeling fatigued, if you're not feeling well, take a nap. Nurture yourself. Go get a massage. Watch your favorite movie. Set up, um, what is those things called? Your infuser where you can can smell those beautiful uh, aromas. Nurture yourself. You're going through a heavy transition during this time. You're experiencing a shedding of old skin, a shedding of old self. And what's been underneath the surface this whole time is emerging. It's very important to be gentle with yourself. Many of you are feeling sometimes that you need to get extra rest 
and that you need to rejuvenate yourself because you don't understand how much your body's working, your mind is working, your heart is working, your spirit is working. Even when you think that you're not doing nothing, you're very active in this transformation because it's happening on many different levels. This transformation within you is happening from like four different perspectives, four different dimensions. It takes a lot of energy. Anything in life takes energy. And a lot of people, like we always say, you can see the physical. But for those of us, and especially those of you listening, you're someone who's also attuned to the unseen. You have eyes that can see and ears that can hear. Many people have eyes, but they see not. Many people have ears, but they can't hear a doggone thing except for what's playing on the radio. But you, my dear, you, my love, you, my handsome boss, you can see and you can hear and understand that you're always operating on all of these levels because you're attuned to them. So there's been a lot of spiritual work that has been happening. And you're also feeling fatigue as a result of this. You've been given birth. We spoke about this on another episode of the 828 podcast. You've been giving birth to yourself, to your true version, to who you've always been. First, society gave birth to you. Now you're giving birth to yourself. All you need to do during this time is remain grounded, remain peaceful as possible. Keep your boundaries up. And the reason I say this is because I I try to explain this to people and I don't even know how many people actually understand what I'm saying. But I know for some of you listening to this, this is going to be for somebody. You're going to get exactly this message. So let me explain this one more time. You're literally experiencing a rebirth. Meaning you're a newborn during this time. Many of you have already been pushed out. And you're a newborn. Some of you are getting ready to to come out to the light. You're right there. So I want you to think about how do you take care of a newborn? Even if you don't have any children, you probably know how most people handle newborns. With newborns, you don't, for for one, you don't really put them around other people. Not not for those first few months. You want to keep your newborn protected. You don't want to have them just out at Walmart. You know, you don't want to have them out at the grocery store. You know, you, you're you not going to just be taking them by uh, Pookie, Ray Ray, Jasmine, and Jessica house. You're going to keep them in the house. You're going to keep them away from unnecessary bacteria, unnecessary disease, unnecessary disorder. You're going to nurture that newborn. You're going to feed that newborn. And what else are you going to allow that newborn to do? You're going to let that newborn rest as much as possible. Matter of fact, you're going to love when the newborn is resting. (laughs) It's going to be some of your favorite times when the newborn is resting. I'm kidding, but my parents know what I'm talking about, okay? The whole experience is beautiful. But I know you all understand my point. You're going to feed the newborn. You're going to cleanse the newborn. You're going to talk softly to the newborn. You're going to keep the newborn away from all the hands and minds and mouths of other people. I don't know about y'all. Ain't nobody kissing my baby. I still don't let people kiss my baby, okay? (laughs) She's not out here taking kisses anyway, but I'm saying, I'm one of the people, please don't kiss my, don't even think about it. Don't breathe too close. You're breathing too close, you understand? I ain't play about my baby. I still don't play about my baby. So... This is how you need to be treating yourself. You got to give yourself that newborn affection. You got to give yourself that TLC, that tender, loving care. You're new. You're new. You're acclimating. Be patient with yourself. Make sure that you rest as much as you feel you need to rest. Don't judge yourself during this time. Have compassion. Don't tell yourself, well, I should be doing this. I shouldn't be doing No. What you should be doing is listening to your body. That's what babies do. Babies ain't out here overanalyzing things. Oh, I shouldn't be tired. I slept already. If a baby tired, a baby going to take a nap. Oh, I shouldn't be hungry. I just breastfed. So that baby going to breastfeed again. Take them out. Let's, let's, let's get round two, three, four going. The body knows what it needs. The body is very intelligent. So listen to your body. Don't fight your body. 
when we don't listen to our body, that's when other things start to manifest. There's certain disease that comes about when we're not listening to our body. That's when certain disease will start to manifest because it has to get your attention somehow. You're not listening. So then it gets to be a larger and larger issue until you start finally paying attention. Wait, something is going on here. Let's not do that. Let's just listen to our bodies. Why do we neglect our bodies? It's the only body that you're going to have in this life. You can get a new car. You can get new hair. You can get new shoes. You can get a new house. You can get new money. But one thing you're not going to be able to do is get a new body. And even if you decide to get new body parts, even if you decide to alt- surgically alter your body, all of that's good and dandy, but you're still not going to, in the grand scheme of things, be able to replace this vessel that you were born into. We got to take care of this and also listen to it. It's intelligent. So this is the thing. We spoke about this regeneration, the fact that you're a newborn, you're entering new beginnings. This is a completely new life for you. Even if it looks, even if you might look the same to other people on the outside, you're not the same. Many of you don't even resonate with friends that you used to have. Like, it ain't even no beef at this point. You just don't resonate. Like, you don't have anything in common with a lot of people. It might be also relatives. Many of you might have found yourselves in the recent past or even right now exiting from certain romantic relationships. Some of you might even find yourself making like significant career changes. Because it just doesn't resonate. I mean, and I mean substantial shifts. Like, let's say, and this is just an example, but shifts like, you know, you've been in, in medical care this entire time. Maybe you do, you're a doctor. Maybe you did nursing. Maybe you were engineering. And all of a sudden, you're like, you know what? No, I'm going to do music. I want to do art. Or I want to do business. I want to do finance. It's, it's, it's certain major shifts happening here. And then for those of you who you haven't felt a, a desire to shift your career, Perhaps you have a a new relationship with it. Even for relationships, for for a few of you, there are certain ones of you who you're changed. You've changed, but few of you have been very blessed and lucky to be connected to people who are also embarking on on these changes. So let's say you are in a romantic connection. For some of you, you might have been with somebody where you both went through these same shifts. So it's like even your relationship is renewed. It's like y'all are getting to like y'all y'all just dating for the first time. Like, you know, in the beginning when you got those butterflies and it's so exciting, and you want to get to know the person. Some of you are feeling this way about your love life for a few of you that have been blessed to already be in union with the person that you're destined to be with. I do. Feel, I'm picking that up strong for so, somebody here. And for others of you, this might not be with or and, and it doesn't just hold on. Let's continue to go. This doesn't just even have to be romantic. It could be other relationships. It could be maybe some of you, the relationship that you have with your children or your child. It's transforming. It feels like even for some of you, you know, when you just have a baby, they call that the honeymoon phase as well. That a lot of people don't understand for people who's never had a child. There's a honeymoon phase to everything. And they also say there's a honeymoon phase to when you have your children. So for some of you, even with your children, you're experiencing your children in a new way. Like you're you're, you're having a renewed, just beautiful relationship with your child. Like your child is a new, like everything is just fresh. You're a fresh parent, ready to go, ready to be the best mom, best dad ever. And your child is, is receiving it and also reciprocating that energy. For some of you, this could be friendships that are being renewed. That if you had people in your life that were supposed to be there. And then, as I was going to say, and initially, some of you are experiencing this renewal in your career. Maybe there, maybe you are continuing to do what you've been doing, but you're going to find yourself doing it in a different way. You're going to find yourself with a renewed passion. You're going to find yourself really unstoppable because you're doing this and you're a different person now. Some of you have been already was living in your purpose and doing what you need to do, but you were also doing it more so from a place of your ego self. Your shadow self. And when I say shadow self, I don't mean that in a bad way. Many of you are still doing great work from that perspective. But who you are now and who you're becoming and blossoming into, this is uninhibited. This is ego free. You're free. Your soul is free. Your mind is free. Your spirit is free. You're emotionally free. And the way that you're doing whatever it is that you do, you have a renewed zest. Many of you are going to be getting different creative ideas. You're going to be doing what you've been doing, but in ways that you never did it.
there's a breakthrough that is coming for you that is an, an inevitable. And what I mean by this breakthrough, we're talking about you. We're, we're talking about you breaking through your own boundaries that, that is, existed in your life. Any barriers that you had, if there is financial barriers that you've had, mental barriers, emotional barriers, even if we're talking about certain levels of fear that has kept you trapped, addictions, habits, skill sets, knowledge. Let's say even as we speak about knowledge, that's sticking out to me right now. Let's say there are certain things that you easily learn. It's like, well, I can learn this. This is I, I'm able to pick up on these things and, and decipher them easily. But these subjects, I, I I can't do. Like, my brain just don't do that. You're going to start even seeing yourself, like, being able to interpret information that you once almost didn't have access to. Like, no matter how hard you tried to understand it, it just didn't, it didn't click. You're going to start even understanding yourself going into different realms of intelligence. You're, you're going to be breaking through, okay? Like I said, this is going to play out for you in different ways. I just gave a few examples, but you're, you're, you're surpassing yourself. You're breaking beyond your limitations, even certain expectations that you might have had for yourself. Maybe you can see others experiencing life a certain way, but when it comes to you, there's some hesitancy there. There's some fear. There's some blockage. Maybe it's so easy for you to look at another person and tell them, oh no, the sky is the limit. And you really mean it. Oh no, this, this is just, this didn't happen to you. This happened for you. And you mean it from the bottom of your heart. You can clearly see the glory of God over this person's life. But then sometimes when it comes to yourself, it's like, yeah, uh, mentally you can say that verbally, you can say that, but deep down there's a blockage deep down. You feel like you're still waiting for the other shoe to drop. Many of you are breaking through this, whatever that fear has been that keeps you held back in a way you're busting through that. And this is something that's assured. You're walking in the in the right direction. Continue to keep your head held high no matter what you're going through. Make it look good. Period. Make it look good. Take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Some of you are going to be finding yourselves or have been finding yourselves sleeping more than often. Look in the mirror and tell me how your face look. Some of you probably look like you lost five, ten years off your face. Tell me if I'm telling the truth or not. Again. Many of you are going to have a long life in this life. Like you're going to live longer than the average person. And we're not even just talking about averages. Like I don't know what the new like, average lifespan is. I know at one point in life it was like 30 years old, I think, then 50. So it's much higher than that. But even what I mean is the upper end of life expectancy on average, many of you are going to live beyond that. I'm going to be honest. And it's not going to be you're living beyond that, but you can barely walk. And you and you have and you lost all your memory. No, you're going to still be living a very fruitful life. Like some of you are going to be in your 90s looking like you're 60 or 50. I'm telling you. You're going to live a long life. People are going to think that you're not even human. Like who? What type of juju are you doing? Like, seriously, you're, you're going to you're not going to age like people typically age. And this is because you're fully embarking on this journey that everybody has been given the opportunity to partake on, but many have given up. It's not easy. Many people can't take being alone. Many people can't take sitting with themselves. Many people don't want to do the work. Healing work is, is not easy. It hurts. Do you know how hard it is? Some, one of the hardest things that you'll ever do in this life is face your own shadows. One of the hardest things that you'll ever do in this life is stop pointing the finger at others and be like, you know what? Let me take all my fingers back and let me just point them all within myself and see what we got going on in here. Let, let me see. Yeah, maybe all these people is a problem. Maybe not. It's irrelevant. The problem is I need to look a little bit deeper within myself. You know how hard that is to do? Most people never do that. But those of you who this is for, you've done that and you continue to do that and you will do that as often as you need to. There are certain things that might have seemed like they were on pause in your life, but you're going to see that right now as you listen to this message, for many of you who listen to in the month of August, this is happening this month. But even if you listen at another time, whenever you listen to this message, something is happening in divine time for you within the month that you listen to this. For many of you, like I said, that are going to be listening to this live, you're going to be experiencing this shift in August. 
you have been transmuting low vibrations and negative energy on a major, major level. Do you know another thing? This is so funny that I'm picking up here. A lot of you, and this is this is for chosen ones. We already know. You know what I'm saying? Tell me why they hating. Hating on us. You feel what I'm trying to say? Why we got so much opposition in the world, chosen ones? All we do is be the light, spread light and love. And 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 you got these. 3D and below people exchanging evil for your good. It that that's the opposition. The enemy works through people, and some of these people are so low vibrational that they don't even understand that they're being used by the enemy. They don't understand that. The same way that your vessel is used to spread light, to spread messages from Holy Spirit. There's people out here who makes themselves your opposition that is literally being used by the devil. And they're not doing a great job at all because it's not affecting you. What's actually happening is everything and every negativity that these people spew against you, this is mirroring back to them immediately. Ricochet. Y'all know how boomerang, you know how when you, when you throw a boomerang, a boomerang comes right back. That's what's happening. These people are speaking against you. These people are cursing your name. These people are lying on you. These people are making up rumors about you. And all of these things are ricocheting. For instance, like this is what I'm hearing Holy Spirit say. For instance, there might be somebody that speaks about you, lies about you, and then all of a sudden they turn around and their car break down. All of a sudden they turn around, something that they they bank account is negative. They they're experiencing this in visceral time and in, in, in live. They turn around, they go to the store, they getting cussed out, they running into the worst people, the cashier register rude. They driving on the road, the people rude. They getting in the fender benders. I'm telling you. Everything that they're speaking to get you and every time they put your your name in their mouth and they come against you as a chosen one, they're experiencing things that are breaking down in their life in real time. Every time they say something about you, they turn around and get bad news that's affecting them. It's like they're eating their own poison, like they're eating their own vomit. It's like they're vomiting up lies and deception and deceit about you and then they're having to swallow it. It's disgusting. This is, this is what's happening. All right? Believe you do have people working against you, but it doesn't matter. Like what's happening is they're really bringing fame to you. They're spreading your name and people are coming and they're looking for you. Cause some, some, some of these people are talking about you so much that they're increasing your audience. And then the audience comes and they looks at your work and they like, yo, this is, this is lit. This is, this is light. I don't understand. What is that person talking about? They, they're over there scratching their head. So I said that to say you're operating on such a high level. You're you're operating on such a different dimension that it's like everything that is being thrown at you, it's like you're transmuting it into light. It's working for you. It's like imagine if they just throw mud at you, but by the time it crosses into your boundary, it turns into just like beautiful diamonds. This is what I'm saying. Because I told you, many of you, make sure that you keep your boundaries, protect yourself, protect yourself mentally, spiritually, emotionally, protect what you know, protect how you feel. Be careful with the way that you're dealing with others, because you're going to see that certain people, even you might find people that are close to you or have access to you, relatives, friends that you might still be in contact with, co-workers. You're going to notice that some of these people are trying to provoke you or trying to trigger you in a way because they want to take you out of this. And a lot of them don't even understand what's happening because, like I said, a lot of these people get used by the enemy family. That's why I always say you got you to gotta know scripture, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual principalities, against wickedness in heavenly places. So we're all vessels in this life. Every, every single one of us are a vessel. But a lot of people don't realize what their vessel is being led by. You, as I'm speaking to you, you're, you're filled with the Holy Spirit. That does that mean you're perfect? No. That, does that mean you always have the perfect, most pure thoughts? Absolutely not. None of us are perfect, not one. You're being perfected, however. That's another story for another day. But your vessel is a vessel that the Holy Spirit dwells. The Holy Spirit got a bed, a whole bedroom and house, a bathroom in your in your temple. These other people, some of them are empty shells, and they're able to be used by the enemy at any at a whim. Because they haven't cultivated their spirit. They don't even focus on things of light. A lot of these people, they gossip. 
That's all they spend their time doing is gossiping about other people. Negatively, spreading lies about other people. Some of your own relatives that you talk to and you tell, they get on the phone and they talking about you behind your back. Then when they talk to you, they talking about another relative to you behind that relative's back. And it just goes like that. But that's because these people, that's the level that they're operating from. However, as I said, you have a protection around you. It's like you have a bubble that is shielding you during this time, that is keeping you in peace. And this is a spiritual thing, but this is also because of your actions, because you're not entertaining certain people, places, and things. You've been also cultivating your own mind. You've been trying to keep your thoughts as pure as possible. So the things that are being thrown at you negatively, it's like, it's not working. It's benefiting you. They throw in mud and you catching diamonds. That's, that's, that's how I'm seeing it. There's going to be something that happens for you this month that opens up unexpectedly. You know, it's so funny because your life really can change in a day. You can go to sleep feeling one way. You can go to sleep being said a prayer, surrender to the most high, be like, okay, it is what it is. I'm still grateful for you, Lord. Looking forward to the next day. You wake up the next day, your whole day is different. Everything shifts. You go from not having anything to do to having everything to do. You go from not having anybody in your life to having great people in your life or just one great person in your life. This is happening. Some of you, this has already begun to happen. But if you haven't experienced it, this is going to happen for you this month. And for those of you who've already started to experience this, there's going to be so many more moments like this that happens throughout the month of August. The one thing that I'll say is continue to walk thoughtfully. Tread carefully, ponder the path of your feet. Because as these opportunities finally open up for you, because this is divine time and you've done substantial work that you're ready for a lot of these opportunities, you got to remember that when the most high is beginning to send opportunities our way, then the opposition always want to come in. The opposition always want to be the opposition and also have counterfeit opportunities arise. So discern between these things. And this is the thing. It's going to be very easy to discern between these opportunities because when something is coming from the most high, it's going to line up beautifully. Like everything's going to fall in place. When something is coming from the opposition, there's going to be resistance. There's going to be some miscommunications. There's going to be misunderstandings. It's going to be off on the time. So it's like maybe this opportunity is like, oh, you know, I, I would love to do it, but today's not a good day. Next, next week is not a good week. You're going to know it's going to be certain things that line up. And then even for some of you who are really tapped in and have been in solitude to where you have really been just embracing the energy of the the most high, you've been just embracing Holy Spirit and allowing that to cultivate inside of you. Many of you are going to be able to just feel this intuitively. Spiritually, you're going to feel like something ain't right. And you're going to go with that. A lot of you also, this is another thing. People are going to be exposing themselves to you un- unwillingly, like not even knowing it. You might talk to a person and they're like, oh, yes, I want to do this or I have this opportunity for you. And then they end up telling you who they are in that same sentence. You know, and what I mean by that, let me give an example. Like, let's say you're talking to somebody and they're like, oh, look, I want to like we should be business partners. I got this great opportunity for us. I've been looking at what you do. You'll be able to make more money with this, yada, yada, yada. Then they turn around and tell you, you know, my last partnership didn't go so well because, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm all about money. so." You know, my my last partner wanted to do things a certain way, and and it, if it don't make money, that's that's the only way I go by. So, I, I I don't care about feelings, I don't care about morals, none of that. When it comes to business, I, I I follow the money, something like that. And of course, that's very specific. But what I'm telling you is, these people are going to be revealing themselves to you in their conversation on accident. A lot of them are not even going to realize that they're doing it. But that's the opposition inside them. The opposition always exposes itself. So if you're listening, you're going to be able to hear what you need to hear. Pay attention. Remember, this is a time for you to rest, relax when you feel uh, led to relax. Make sure that you are meditating. We're doing 30 Days of Success in Love. And I actually recorded episode eight for 30 Days of Success in Love today. And we're beginning with heart meditations. Meditating on your heart, listening to your heart. 
make sure that you're meditating as much as possible because this is the place where you're going to receive all of the divine guidance that you've been praying for. Prayer is how we speak to the most high. This is how we make requests. This is how we talk. When we meditate, this is when we put ourselves in a position to be able to receive, to be able to listen. You're going to be guided to create some things and produce. And these are going to be things that come from your heart space. These are going to be things that you're naturally good at. This is going to bring you a lot of abundance. Many of you are going to be called to step up as leaders during this time to provide guidance and even nurture other people who really need what you have, who need your knowledge. Everything that you've been through, your experiences, that was to assist you in your life work. That was to assist you in your purpose. That's why it's, that, That's why this is not a time to take it personal. We're transcending taking things personal. We're relinquishing the past and we're living in the present. We're being healed in this present moment. Everything that you went through was to be able to give you the tools that you need for whatever it is that your purpose is. There are specific souls that you came here to speak to. Even for those of you that are listening to me, perhaps I speak to your spirit. Perhaps I resonate with your soul. But do you do you also understand that there's many people who your voice is specifically going to speak to that might never have heard of me and may never have heard of me, but you, but it's it's a trickle effect. You could you catch the light that comes from me, and you also have another light that is meant to touch many others that are only going to be able to hear it the way that you give it from your perspective, from your experience. Release anything that you feel has hurt you or betrayed you from your past. Even forgive yourself. Release any doubt or regret that you have. No, no, no. All things work together for good for those who love the most high have been called according to the purpose of God. Period. This means your decisions, your indecisions, your victories, your mistakes, your successes, your failures, everything. All of these things have been working for you. You are stronger than you're giving yourself credit for, and you're also being surrounded by Holy Spirit angels that are also strengthening you as well and guiding you on a regular basis. If there's certain help that you need, even some days, let's say you wake up, you need extra energy. Ask your, pray to the most high. And also communicate with your angels to help you, to, 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 to give you more strength, to give you more power, to send you more healing. These are things that we have to communicate. A closed mouth doesn't get fed. You got to understand that you're spiritual. You got to also understand how to communicate spiritually and understand that you're always being heard and you're always being assisted, but you got to ask for the help. When I tell you there's going to be certain blessings that come into your life just within this very month, there's nothing that you have to force here. The only thing that you're needing to do, especially in the month of August, is trust. Trust that you're being led in a particular direction. Even, I don't care what it is that you're you're feeling like, man, but pretty boss, all I'm feeling guided to do is sleep. All I'm feeling guided to do is Netflix and chill. And again, take this as it applies to you. This is not an excuse for laziness. I'm not, this, this, pod, what, this podcast isn't for lazy people. This is for chosen ones. So the people who I'm talking to, you're a person who, if anything, you gotta, you a workaholic, you've been a workaholic your whole life. If anything, you you slight on the side of not being able to sit down. You got to be doing multiple things at the same time to always feel like you're in motion. That's for those of you who are very diligent, who are very active, who are very productive and have been very productive for the majority of your life. If all of a sudden you're feeling different, it's like, man, I just been feeling to relax. I just been feeling to sleep. I just been feeling to meditate. I just been feeling to pray. I just been feeling to read. I just been feeling to watch certain films. This is because you're actually being obedient to your guidance. You're going to, there's going to be something that hits you in this, in, in this space of rest. There's going to be an idea that surfaces. Some of you, this could come in the form of a dream. Some of you, this is just going to come from whatever activity that you're doing. 
something is going to be given to you and you're going to be able to receive it because you're going to be in a place in a receptive mode. You're not going to be in a place where you're trying to force things. Sometimes when we're trying to force things, all we can think is our own thoughts. All we can focus on is our own agendas and it blocks the bigger picture that's happening. What do we always hear? God's voice is a still small voice. So when you're doing all the thinking, when you're trying to take the steering wheel all the time, it can really block out the small, still voice of God. Many of you that have been feeling like you've been taking it easy, and if you haven't, this is this is a guidance to stop trying to force things. You're about to unlock a door of abundance and opportunities. I'm telling you, these opportunities are going to lead to massive abundance. Within the next 12 months, and it's so funny, as I said it, within the next 12 months, I look at the time, it's 12, 11 p.m. EST right now as I'm recording this. Some of you within the next 12 to 11 months, your your entire life is going to be different. Let's say you don't have a home of your own. Not only are you going to have a home of your own that you own, but you're going to have your dream home. 12, 12 on the clock. Some of you might have been seeing that. Let's say you're single as a Pringle. This time next year, not only are you going to be in a relationship, but you're going to be in a relationship with the person that you're going to be able to have a whole purposeful life with. This is going to be your purpose partner, somebody that you are able to enjoy for the rest of this life and build an empire with and enjoy it. Not be like these people who are, uh, what's this video that I saw lately going around um, where they say, you're not going to be one of those people that are married that's living with a permanent um, a, a a permanent level of no, an, a tolerable level of permanent unhappiness. Excuse me. You're not going to be like one of those people who are married living with a permanent, a, a tolerable level of permanent unhappiness. No, this is going to be something that continues to, to evolve and grow with you. This is going to be something that continues to feed you as you feed it. This is something that's divine and destined. Let's say you don't have a job. You're going to be working in your your in your dream career or you're going to have a business that you're sitting on that is more successful than anything that you've ever embarked on. Even if you've been an entrepreneur, you've been a business owner, you're going to create something or already be stepping into something this month that you're creating that 12 months from now, oh my goodness. This is going to this is going to be be the thing. You know, there's many entrepreneurs, even when you think about Jeff Bezos, Jeff Bezos, his first company wasn't Amazon. He had other companies before that. As many other successful people that you see, they as many other things that they did before they finally did that one thing that broke them through and took them to a completely different level of success. I'm pretty sure Jeff Bezos had other companies that, you know, they were straight. It was probably good enough to live off of. And he had certain successes with that, but none of them, they all paled in comparison to what Amazon has produced and will continue to produce. This is the same thing for you. There's something that you're going to walk into, something that you're going to create or put out this month. And a year from now, this is it's like, wow, the fruit is going to grow rapidly. That's all I can say. A lot of you, this is going to be something that, for some of you, this is going to be an opportunity that you receive. Somebody's going to reach out to you. There's going to be some form of contact direct contact where they might you you might even get a a proposition from a company a well-known person even if it's not a well-known person or a big company this could be something that is up and coming that people don't know about but this is substantial this is significant this is going to change everything be open to it don't judge a book by its cover is what i'm hearing holy spirit say do not judge a book by its cover there's going to be something that comes to you that look like a diamond in the rough, and it's going to be a whole diamond, okay? We talking about big carrots. We ain't talking about little baby point one carrot. The diamond diamond. This is going to be something that changes your life. Also, some of you, um, for a few of you, there's going to be some sort of gift you may receive this month. It's going to play out in two ways. Some of you, this is going to be a gift that you receive 
from Holy Spirit. This is going to be like a spiritual gift or something that you don't even realize that you were gifted in. It could be, let's say you play a sport for the first time and you never tried it. Like, let's say, for instance, you go golfing and somebody's like, hey, you want to go golfing? You're like, look, I don't know how to golf, but cool. It's a nice day. Let's go. If that's what you want to do, teach me. And then you go and it's like you Tiger Woods in it. You see what I'm trying to say? And I'm using sports as an example, but this could be anything. There's going to be something that you figure, find out you have a, a natural knack for. I'm hearing Mozart. You know how like you have prodigy children that they're born and they already good at doing something like fresh out the womb. This is something for you, too, that you've always been good at. You just never have had the opportunity to do it. So you don't even know that you have that gift. And for others of you, this is going to be someone that is trying to gift you in your life. This could be two. This two ways is going to play out for some of you. This is somebody that you're already in a relationship with and you might experience a proposal like this person is going to propose to you. Right. And then for some of you, this is going to be somebody that tries to come with your past and they're going to try to lure you in with gifts. Some of you, this could be somebody from your past that you let go of, that you was led to walk away from. And now they coming back in, but they not just coming back in. They're like, look, will you marry me? You gonna have to use your discernment on that. I'm not even going to tell you what to do. Holy Spirit said, don't even say nothing because this is chosen ones. I've already been molding my chosen ones to be able to listen to Holy Spirit within them, to be able to listen to the guidance, to be able to pay attention to the signs. Some of you, this gift is going to be a blessing. And some of you, this gift is going to be a temptation to see if you are really learned your lesson, to see if you're really ready for the fruit of the spirit, or if you're going to go back into your old fleshly ways and go back into your old ways of thinking and that fear-based reality. Because for some of you, that this gift that you're going to receive, this is a quote-unquote gift, this is a bribe. This this reminds me of the energy when Yeshua did the 40 day and 40 night fast and then the devil came and tempted him three times. And one of the times he was like, look, if you just bow down to me, I'll give you all of this. I'll give you the entire world. You see that? All that, the gold, the money, the cars, the clothes, the pros, I'll give you all that. Yeshua was like, look, get away from me, boy. Get ye behind me, Satan. Right? So some of y'all are going to be tested with the temptation, something that you might really, really want. But Holy Spirit wants to know, are you ready for the real thing? Because you got to understand that when you really break through and start to step into these opportunities that are literally waiting for you that you do not see coming that are right around the corner like many of you are popping this month, you got to understand that you're going to be dealing with all types of temptations. You know what they say, new levels, new devils. And when we say new devils, we're not talking about this, you know, this monster uh, coming out the closet, uh, breathing fire with horns. The devil always comes to you in ways that you, with things that you've always wanted, things that you feel like you've always prayed for. Sometimes the person who looks like the person that you, that you uh, may think looks like the, your dream person or the, the, the finances or the opportunity that you're like, oh my God, this is my dream circumstance or the house or the material thing that you're like, man, this is what I always prayed for. That's how the enemy comes. The enemy don't come looking crazy. The enemy don't come looking like the, like the devil. The enemy comes offering you everything that you think that you wanted in this 3D material reality. So you got to have the discernment because, like I said, this level that you've been rising to, oh, you're going to be surrounded by opportunities all the time. Like once you make this first breakthrough, it's going to be nonstop. You're going to go from feeling like there's no opportunities, you're in solitude, your whole life is dead, it's over, it's lame, it's trash, to as you really embrace and continue to ride out this transformation process and nurture yourself all of a sudden one day mark my word i mean it just like this one day you're gonna wake up and it's like everything is popping everything like from zero to 100 when to sleep a little sad you're gonna wake up and be like yo i need i should have got some more sleep last week i didn't know all of these opportunities were gonna happen this week where am i gonna get the energy from this is what's gonna happen and for some of you that already has experienced this on a small scale That was just a premonition to what's more to come. It's going to be more of that, like, much more significantly. That's why the Most High is like, look, if I'm leading you to rest, rest. Don't play with it. Okay? I tell my daughter sometimes, like, don't play with me. (laughs) Don't play with me. She know what I say. I'm being serious. That's what that's how I feel. I hear the Most High about my right now, like, don't play with me. I'm telling you to get some rest, rejuvenate. Go ahead and do that. I see things that you don't see. Trust the process. So, again, when I tell you you're giving birth to yourself, family, y'all, you, you're, you're ready. Like, 
any day now. That that ninth month is crazy. Any of my fellow women, you you know how that ninth month is, okay? That ninth month is like, oh my god, it feels like it's just never gonna happen. But at the same time, it's inevitable. You can only get so big. The baby can only sit on your bladder but so long. You can only have but so many uncomfortable sleepless nights because it's like the baby's heavy. You only have one position you can really sleep on the side. And it seems like it's like, man, I know it's here. This is the ninth month, but when is it going to happen? This is the season that you're in right now. It's going to come all of a sudden. Just like when when a woman wakes up or when it's time, when you start having those the, those close contractions and it's like, oh, snap, this is the day. My my contractions are this this amount of minutes or seconds apart. All of a sudden, this is how this is gonna. This is how this is all happening for you. This is all divinely guided. This is gonna bring you so much pleasure. I'm telling you, and all of this is gonna be a result of the things that you've been building. Everything that's coming to you. Understand that you're worthy of it. These are things that are old to you, and I don't mean that in a condescending way. Like, oh, you know, the Most High owes you, life owes you. I don't mean it that way. What I'm trying to say is, this is the seeds that you've sown that are now developing that that's law we reap what we sow and you've sown a lot so all of those seeds that you've sown you're about to experience the full fruition of them blossoming you're about to experience the full fruit everything is about to make sense to you like everything is going to come together it's, you're going to see your life from a completely different perspective it's like you're going to have the most aha of the high eyes moments and when i tell you opportunities and abundance galore i really mean that when i tell you your heart's desires when I tell you you're going to be living as a free woman, a free man, uninhibited by fear, uninhibited by doubt, regret, pain. No, your heart is fresh. It's, a, it's, a, it's like you're going to be then got a new heart. No bypasses, no nothing. You, your heart beating, nice, juicy red. This is how you are and this is how you're going to be experiencing life. And you're going to see that it's almost as if the entire world, that your entire environment cooperates with you it's like everything is working with you the people on the road as you're driving the people that you come in contact with the the emails that you get the messages the when you put on the tv is the 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 right messages the right time when you pull up your cell phone people that call you the way people interact with you ideas that you get timing everything is going to literally be working with you and for you and again Right now, what most of you are dealing with, you're, you're, you're being healed on a level that you cannot physically comprehend. And for many of you, this is also why you've been very fatigued. You're healing on a deep level. Think about, and this is the last thing I'm going to say. Think about if you've gotten some type of surgery, whether it's a surgery that is uh, necessary, a medical emergency, or whether even if it's, if it's a cosmetic surgery, it doesn't matter. Surgery is surgery. So imagine for, especially for those of you who had surgery, this is going to uh, resonate even more. And for those of you who've never had surgery in any capacity, like myself, I'm pretty sure you can relate or you've been around somebody who's had surgery before. So if you're talking about surgery, that healing process is something serious. Like that healing process takes a long time. When I, people that I've witnessed that are healing from surgeries, whether they were cosmetic or whether they were like medical necessities. I saw them go through ups and downs of the healing process. You know, the mental ups and downs, the physical ups and downs, the one day feeling okay, the next day not feeling that great. This is what you've been experiencing because you got to understand your soul, your spirit is healing on a completely different level. This has been the 828 Podcast, checking out 1224 p.m. EST. I love y'all so much. If y'all want to listen to the more episodes of the 828 Podcast, this is episode 67, all right? So you can already imagine where the rest of them at. They're on patreon.com slash TV. This is a private podcast for Pretty Boss TV Patreons for chosen ones only. So if you would like to listen to the entirety of this, if you're at any phase of this journey, we've been on this journey this entire time. This whole thing, this is, this is we're, we're starting to get to the other side of this journey now. But if you're in earlier phases of this process, and you would like a little bit more guidance, you know where to find the 828 podcast on patreon.com slash prettybossdb. I love y'all so very much. Have a blessed one. Let's get it. Hey.